Heather and Merrily have been busy this morning. They're making homemade donuts using biscuits. It takes six minutes. Do we flip them? At three, yeah. Hold on, I'll try not to burn my foot. everybody you can kind of see we're busy right now I've got brush that I got to pick up from the yard bring it out here this is our brush pile we're gonna burn this hopefully next week yeah we've been collecting brush from all over the yard uh, it's kind of been dry lately and the fire department in town advised everybody not to burn anything they had a fire uh, in another town, it spread, I want to say 60 acres. I'm familiar with wildland firefighting, so I'm a little cautious too about burning, especially when it gets windy like this. It's not too bad right now, but we'd much rather just wait until after the rain. And so we're just gonna keep piling this on, just have a big old bonfire one day. So I started the base of the shed in my last video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, right now we're starting on our garden. I've got almost all of it tilled up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, and the day after that. Heather's garden is going to be right here. It's like right next to the greenhouse. She wants to do a garden in this area because this gets the most sunlight. We almost finished tilling it. So this is what we left with. We're going to have to probably hopefully finish this up Saturday just in a few days. But progress is better than no progress. And for the most part this isn't clay so that is better. I think I'm going to try to get some more work done on the base of my shed. But I have little time because it's about to rain. 
So I need to get something done today. So you see, it's not how it used to look in the other video. If you watch the other video, thank you, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Yeah, this base don't look anything like the end of that video. So after that, I decided to take it all off, actually square some of these boards off, clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna fill in this, um, this middle gap with some plywood. So I wanna try to do that before it starts raining, so I'm gonna get to work. So to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I have six inches of space from the outside of my plywood to where the shed's going to start. And that's all the right way around. Because I went a foot, I went a foot longer on each side because my, my shed is 10 by 14. So I went 11 by 15 around the whole thing. So now I have six inches of space all the way around my shed to give me some overlap just in case my my base isn't completely squared off which is fine not a big deal but i'm going to fill in this middle section with the rest of this plywood that i have and right now i'm noticing it's four feet wide which this is four feet wide so i'm just going to cut this end off and probably just drop this right in the middle see what's left to fill I am not a carpenter. Oh well. so much easier than that stuff but I was limited on my plywood there was a lot of that in the house that was tore down and not a lot of this so it is what it is as my mama always said So out of the two pieces I have, that's the better one. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll cut her down, fill in these gaps. I wasn't able to finish what I started. Rain's coming in and I forgot about putting away the four-wheeler, all the tools, anything that we leave out when we're working. Heather should be headed back here soon. She just picked up merrily. But I just covered up our shed. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I just figure plywood's going to get wet and it's going to soak up water. And I covered it up all winter and I figured, why not? Heather was worried about a tree falling on her greenhouse. So I had to drop a tree. Uh, and it didn't hit the greenhouse. So, win-win. Yeah, it was dead. Termites already got to it, so it was going to fall eventually, and the way it was looking, we didn't want to risk it, so I dropped it. Look at this. Yeah, this is termite damage, and it was getting bad. I didn't really notice it until I got up close, but yeah, the whole thing was getting eaten up alive anyways, so... Uh, the whole reason that she wanted me to drop this tree was because a tree out in the woods fell just randomly because of the wind and it spooked her thinking that uh, more trees are going to fall so she had me drop that one which is fine. Ah, here she comes. Alright guys, see you in the next one.